Okay, a wire of 100 cm long is placed perpendicular to the magnetic field of 1.2 Weber uh, per meter square. Okay, determine the magnitude of the force on the wire if current of 15 ampere is flowing. Okay, again, so this question is about force, magnetic force for current carrying wire or conductor. Uh, okay, so it's about this one lah, force on current carrying conductor in uniform magnetic field because we have current. Yeah, he asked to find magnetic force. Okay. So, I want to find magnetic force. Uh, we use B, I, L, sin theta. Yeah, I, L, cross B. Okay. Uh, we have the current here. You see that? We have the current. Uh, we have the... This is the wire. L, 100 cm long. Uh, perpendicular. Why we have the words perpendicular here? Uh, perpendicular. That means this, this one is between the wire and the magnetic field. See that? Between the wire and magnetic field. So between the uh, between the wire and magnetic field. Ah we already know the formula for magnetic force. Let's write down the formula first. I L cross B, B I L sin theta, magnetic force. Okay, write down the formula below here first. We are going to use this formula. Magnetic force is uh, I L cross B. Uh, L and B is a vector. They are vector, yeah, length and magnetic field. Okay, uh, B I L sine theta because it's a cross product. Cross we use sine. If dot product use cos for sine theta. Okay, if cross product use sine theta. Okay, now you see it's between you see the between the wire, uh, between the wire and magnetic. Uh, magnetic field ah is is l cross b is l cross b so is a uh, wire cross magnetic field so it's wire cross the magnetic field so perpendicular is the theta that's why i say is l cross b it refer to the angle theta uh, so it's between wire perpendicular to the field so wire perpendicular to the field wire is perpendicular to the field it means this one is the theta 90 degree perpendicular okay with the ang perpendicular means the angle between the wire and magnetic field uh, between wire and magnetic field that's the theta theta is the angle between l and b yeah theta is the angle between uh, right over here right over here theta is the angle between length and magnetic field uh, if you refer to the notes okay uh, theta is the angle between i and b current and magnetic field so yeah because the you know why i because the length always follow the current uh, direction of the length normally follow the current uh, so you can write this l as i also uh, theta is the current angle between current and magnetic field okay and right now is perpendicular. The wire is perpendicular to magnetic field, so the theta is ninety degree. Understand? Uh, okay. Okay. So okay, write down uh, all the information. So it's sine ninety. Uh, magnetic field we have. Okay, we already have the magnetic field here. Uh, magnetic field. Ah, uh, it can write. It has two units. Ah, uh. it can have. Ah, uh, you know, can have. Uh, can have two units magnetic field you can write it as a uh, 1.2 uh, verbal per meter square okay also can write as 1.2 tesla uh, yeah magnetic field you can have verb you can write it as verbal per meter square or tesla it has two units understand depend on what formula okay write down our value magnetic field is 1.2 and current uh, is uh, 15 ampere it's over here 15 ampere and then the length is uh, 100 cm so change to meter so it's divided by 100 so it's one meter long and then sine 90 degree uh, because you say the wire is perpendicular to the field wire perpendicular to the field that means the theta is 90 okay so sine 90 equal to 1 
So let's calculate the answer. Okay, so it's a 1.2 multiply, 15 multiply, uh, 1, so I got 18, 18 Newton. Okay, so that's correct. So right now, uh, the next questions. Now, okay, let me... Uh, Oops. Okay, now for question B. For question B, now for the same current, uh, we are using the same current which is uh, 15 ampere. Determine the magnitude of force. Uh, also, want to find the magnitude of force. If now the length has uh, the length of wire is extended to 150 centimeter. So now the, the length, this is the new length, you can put FL2, so I want to find FB2, eh? I want to find FB2, last time is FB1, eh? and now it's FB2, eh? uh, last time is FB1, now it's FB2, for the, using the same current, okay, so I want to find the new force, the magnetic force, okay, question B, so the new magnetic force, uh, the new magnetic force is equal to B I L uh, sine theta. Okay, so this time is uh, okay. Uh, just put this as red color. Two. This is uh, length two already. Yeah. This is length length two. Okay. All right. So now. Magnetic field is the same, yeah, it's still the same 1.2, 1.2, and then the current, the current is, what's the current, huh? 15 ampere, still the same current, he say, yeah, still the same current, 15 ampere, and the length, what's the length, now is, instead of 100 cm, now increase to 150 cm, so divide by, change to meter, huh? change to meter, so divide by 100, I got 1.5 meter. Uh, still sine 90 degree because it say wire perpendicular to the field. Yeah, L and B, L and B is 90 degree. Okay, so all right, let's calculate. Let's calculate. So 1.2 multiply uh, 15 multiply uh, 1.5. 27 Newton. Okay, so all right, is that the answer? Yeah, eight last time is 18, now it's 27. That's correct. Or both my answer is both of my answer are correct. Okay, so now uh, last question if the force of the wire in part B is this one and current is this one, determine the magnetic field that was supplied. Ah, so now it gives you the force, give you the, you know, the magnetic force uh, and the cut new current. Uh, okay, so I want to find the magnetic field. So question C is want to find the field. So also use the same formula. Uh, okay, so let's do it. So question C also use the formula BIL sin theta. Okay, so magnetic force now is uh, 60 exponent negative 2, uh, negative 2 newton, okay, 60 exponent negative 2 newton, B, uh, that's what I want to find, B, the current is uh, 12 ampere, current is 12 ampere, uh, current is 12 ampere, now the, the length, uh, the length is uh, 100 cm or 150. It says force on the y in part B. So part B is 150 cm. Okay. So remember, use the part B one. Yeah? Part B, uh, part B, the length, the length is uh, 150 cm. Yeah, not 100 cm. So be careful with the question. You want to use the length from part B, not part, not part A. Okay. Length part B. Part B is the wire, you see, he said the wire in, oops, he said the wire in part B. Uh, for the wire in part B, wire, 
wire for part B is already extended to 150cm. Uh, wire in part B already extended to 150cm. So the length is 150cm, not 100cm. Okay? So below here, the length should put 150cm, but change to meter is 1.5 meter. Okay? 1.5 meter. Uh, sine 90 also. Okay, sine 90 is always equal to 1. So I can find my magnetic field. Yeah, simple questions. 60 exponent, negative 2, uh, divide by 12, divide by uh, 1.5. So the answer is 0 0.033 Tesla. Uh, or you want to write the 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 what the unit as 0 0.033. 33 verbal per meter square also can. It has two units. Okay? But normally people put as Tesla lah. Easier lah. Okay? So is the answer correct? Yes. 3.33 exponent negative, 12, negative 2 Tesla. Yeah? Uh, that's correct. Okay? So that's the answer. Uh, okay? So very simple question. Hope you understand. Bye!